ta ra ta ra ta 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 ra ta ra ta 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 ra ta ra ta 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 ra ta ta Hello, fellow earthly things. I am a ladybug and I've got ladybug wings. Let's see what this quote video brings. Because I've been having trouble making quote videos. I've been having troubles in general. One thing I can tell you about life and trouble is that 90s song, I Got 99 Problems, it's true if you're not in a problem. You just got out of a problem or a problem is coming. But there's always something wonderful. Don't fast forward through your life. Don't ruminate. Don't be caught in your head or in your emotions in yesterday for too many days, missing out on the present moment. Don't always be in your head thinking about the future. Now is all we have. Now adds up to our life. Before you know it, your kids are grown. And you're saying things like, I wish I would have spent more time with them. Your relationship is falling apart. And you're saying things like, kitty cat. <laughs> she's making a cameo. You can barely see her over there, but she's right there. Um, you're saying things like, I, I wish I would have paid more attention to my partner. I had an inkling, but I didn't jump on it soon enough. Do you notice the moment, or is your life more like highway hypnosis? <laughs> you get up, get the family around, you go to your job, um, come home from your job, do your routine, feed the kids, go to sleep, all on repeat, um, almost on autopilot, um, always planning for the future or thinking about the past, or you're up in your head or you're, you're in your heart, you're not really in your body, you're thinking, thinking, think, think, thinking somewhere detached from what is really happening, good or bad. You are not here, you are not present on this planet with the rest of us like highway hypnosis when you just get somewhere and you, you're like, I can't believe I didn't crash and kill someone. It just sort of happens. The day just gets away from you. Do you notice the little things in a dusk evening? Do you see the fireflies? Do you see the butterflies? Do you see the ladybug? Do you have a gratitude attitude for what you have? When it's bad, do you try to find the lesson in the blessing? The blessing in the curse, the silver lining, the growth opportunity, the test. You have to have a test to have testimonial. Because you don't want to look back and realize you, you missed what's most important. The present. The present is all we have. Mindfulness. I'll link to some very relevant um, letting go, uh, mindfulness, don't fortune tell, um, stress reduction techniques, um, practicing mindfulness techniques, uh, an attitude of gratitude. Um, is a problem really a, a problem, etc. 
we, we just rush. We just move quick. We rush through our life and we're not present. We may be physically there, but we're not really there. We're on a device or we're in our head somewhere else. And we miss the moment. We miss the rainbow. We don't appreciate the ocean. We've got books on our shelves we've intended to read for years. We don't appreciate how comfy our bed is. How cute our children are. Our little tiny cram New York apartment. It'll all be gone. The good times go. The bad times go. And hopefully we grow through them. For the better, not for the bitter. But in order to hope to grow, you have to be present. You have to be aware. You have to take the time to stop and smell the roses. Appreciate what you have before it is gone your whole life through, even when it is unpleasant. Don't add suffering to your pain by staying ruminating, by replaying things over and over and over. When I am right now safe in my apartment, all I have to do for the rest of the day is I'm filming a morning video at night surprise, surprise, because my schedule has changed. I haven't quite figured out how I'm going to rearrange things, but we're just going with it now. It's helping me to decompress um, and be more present. Um, when I came home from work, I drugged the day with me. It was heavy on my shoulders. And it took me some time to come back to the present. Here there is nothing to fear. Here I am safe. There is nothing I have to do but that which I tell myself to for the rest of the night. But unwind and go to sleep. I am safe, I am secure, right here, right now, right where I am. And yet I come dragging through the door all the emotional baggage from yesterday and invited in, like inviting since Halloween theme, like Dracula. You can't come in unless you invite him. Don't invite him in. Um, when the universe hands you emotional upheaval, it is best to um, deal in the moment and then let that shit go when you are safe especially when your present can be pleasant don't drag the garbage in with you and invite it into your home and invite it into your heart invite it into your brain invite it into your time to consume the good take the time to look around you at the abundance that you have to appreciate what you have where you are right now because it all changes when you look back mindfulness training below uh, gratitude practice below abundance mindset below um, stress reduction techniques below <laughs> um the end of the day, at the end of the night, at the end of your life, you will find the little things matter. Even something as small as a kitty cat. Actually, um, the quote of the day is at the end of your life you will realize it was the tiniest things that mattered. Something as small as a ladybug.
every day. Like taking off your shoes. Make your home your sanctuary. Leave your garbage outside your door. Be present with your family so you don't think when the kids grow up, if only I had. So when you see the ocean, you really see the ocean. So you're present enough to take the, the lesson from the curse, the blessing from the badness, the growth from the madness. So you're present enough to be present with your loved ones, to make a wish on a dandelion, to see a rainbow, to catch a firefly to notice a ladybug. To notice a ladybug, do the tango. And to notice the difference. I want you to be so honed and fine-tuned in being present in your life because this present moment is all you've got and it will go faster than you realize. The older you get, the faster it goes. That curse your parents told you, it is true. It is true. Um, it goes by so quickly. You don't want to miss it. And you don't want to have a bad attitude when it's unnecessary, when nothing is happening. You want to be present, not in a device or in your head or in your heart or in your yesterday or focusing on your problems um, and miss those little things that matter so much um, and you'll regret it later. You don't want too many if onlys in your life. You don't want to um, highway hypnosis your way through your life. Uh, good or bad, happy or sad, be present every day in any way you can, because quote, quote, quote of the day, quote of the day, <laughs> it's a little harder to do in my apartment than it is in my boyfriend's house, um, quote videos, and, um, I'm still struggling because uh, in real life I'm struggling, but um, you guys help me because I'm helping you and it helps me feel good and grounded and happy and pleasant. So thank you for helping me to contribute and to be mindful of little moments like this one and this one that I can cherish and remember forever because I was here for it. Quote, quote, quote of the day. Hooray. At the end of the day, at the end of your life. The smallest things will be what matters most. Something as small. It's a ladybug. Flat, flat, flat. It didn't flat. Something as small as a ladybug may hold the greatest significance. If you're not present, or if your mindset or your headset is not on correctly, you will miss it. So do your best to get grounded every day with mindfulness and gratitude. Feel the to leave your garbage at your door and be present in your sanctuaries and, and embrace the abundance that you have, to notice the abundance that you have. Be so attuned to the here and now that you can tell a difference between those invasive species, orange ladybugs, and a real red ladybug. Because you're that in tune with what is happening around you that not only do you see it, but you can tell that it's fake. And you can tell what's real. And you can focus on the real and the important 100%. Those little moments like strong laughter, 
where your tummy hurts after you're done with a friend. Cuddling with your spouse. Teaching your son how to shave. Teaching your daughter how to shave. Walking them down the aisle with whatever gender they choose. The little things. Count. One more time, quote of the day. At the end of your life, at the end of your days, the smallest things matter the most. Something as small as a ladybug. Present, mindful, grateful, abundant, thinking. Will make your life better. And will make you have a lot less um, stress. Closer relationships, notice more positives, be able to be pleasant and present when things are good, less distress when things are not, and less time at the end of your life wishing you would have because you weren't here and so you missed it. Okay? Okay.